Dang, it's still cold. Hey, have you ever wondered why your microwave hums? What are you doing in my house? How'd you even get in here? Uh, it was already open. Anyway, that's besides the point. I'm here to teach you about electricity, magnetism, transformers, and frequencies. Doesn't that sound fun? Mom, can you pick me up? There's ha! some- Ah, my phone! Now come with me. There's so much to learn in so little time. No, no, I don't know why I would do that. Uh, plot progression. Yeah, that actually makes sense. All right, let's go! After leaving the high voltage lines, a residential transformer like this takes the power down from normally 345,000 volts to 120 and 240 volts respectively at 60 hertz. This information is specifically for America. Um, what's that? Oh, those are just my sources. Okay, that's great and all, but what does any of this have to do with- Shh! Shh. Shh. Listen. Is it humming? Precisely. Keep that in mind. Yeah, that's great and all, but... Now that we know that our microwave is using 120 volts from the transformer outside with a frequency of 60 hertz, we can confirm this by looking right here on the microwave and see that Samsung rates it at 120 VAC or voltage alternating current at 60 hertz or cycles per second. This is also known as AC or alternating current. Alternating current switches from negative to positive to negative again, multiple times a second. Each change of direction is known as 1 hertz. It can be expressed just like in this graph. Now, we can talk a little bit more about your microwave. If I say no, will you leave? <laughs> uh, aren't you just a jokester? Anyway, I'm going to oversimplify a lot, but here we go. Remember that transformer from outside? Well, there's one just like it inside of your microwave. But in this case, it needs to step up the power from the normal 60 hertz from the wall. That's the reason why they both hum. When a transformer is turned on, it steps up the normal 60 hertz of power causing the transformer to vibrate and make a magnetic field. The magnetic field also causes the components inside of the microwave to vibrate. This magnetic field actually has the most influence twice a cycle. So we can take 60 hertz from the wall, multiply it by 2, then get a frequency from our resulting vibration, which is 120 hertz. Through all of this, now your microwave has enough energy to power the magnetron and excite the water molecules, thus cooking your food. Okay, but can I eat my food now? I mean, plus, you do not have that much time before. Time before what? FBI, open up! You failed! <laughs>